Hi guys, Gavin from Little IT here. In this short video today, I'm going to take you through the process of setting up two-factor authentication for your business Microsoft account. Now, I won't go into any detail in regards to why we do this or the importance of it. I'll just say that I would highly recommend that you use two-factor authentication, not only for your Microsoft account, but for any logins, any subscriptions that you may have and provides the opportunity to utilize some kind of two-factor authentication, whether it be via an app on your phone, your mobile phone, or whether it be via a text message. I would highly recommend to utilize a form of two-factor authentication. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to outlook.com and click sign in. Now I've set up a new test account for us today, so I'm gonna put in that new email address. And click next. And now I'm going to key in the password. Now just noting that if you've forgotten the password, there's an option for forgotten my password here, and that will take you through that process. Or, if you have multiple accounts that you log into in Microsoft, you can also select sign in with another account if by default it recognizes another account that you've signed in with before. So in this case, we'll put our password in and click sign in. So the first thing you're gonna be greeted with is the action required for setting up two-factor authentication. So what it's asking for is within the next 14 days, you need to set up the Microsoft Authenticator app on your mobile phone and configure your account to use two-factor authentication. If you don't wanna do it right now, you do have the option to select Ask Later, but noting that you only have 14 days, so again, I'd suggest to set it up as soon as you possibly can. If you want to know a little bit more about Microsoft Authenticator app, just click on the Learn More here. Well, I've just clicked on the Learn More, and this will take you to how to add your accounts to Microsoft Authenticator. This is a very useful how-to, so utilize this where you can. So we'll just close that and go back. So now we're gonna click next. Okay, so this is where we can set up our Microsoft Authenticator app and add our new Microsoft business account. So what we can do here is click next. Just noting that you don't have to use the Microsoft Authenticator app. There are other apps out there, including Google Authenticator, which is one that I also utilize. But all for my Microsoft Business accounts, I do use the Microsoft Authenticator app. So in this case, that's where we're gonna go. So we'll click Next, and Next again. So here you have the option to scan the QR code. On the Microsoft Authenticator app, you can either scan the QR code, which automatically recognizes your account, or you can sign in with your details. In this case, I'm gonna utilize a QR code. So if I now go to my Microsoft Authenticator app, and on the top right corner, there will be a plus button. So if you just click the plus, or depending on the version of your Authenticator app, it might be slightly different experience. So now it's asking to add the account and what type of account that is. In my case, it's work or school account. Now, as I mentioned, it's giving us the option to sign in or scan the QR code. So I'm gonna click scan QR code and it will open your camera. And if you just point the camera at the QR code on the screen, that will automatically recognize your account and create an authenticator account. If you've got multiple authenticator accounts set up, just scroll to the bottom and find your newly set up services at littleit.com.au. So now I click on that account 
and I'm going to see a one-time password code. In normal circumstances you would use this code but in this case when we click next when we're setting things up for the first time it will prompt you with a random number. Now with the Microsoft Authenticator app whenever you use it it should automatically prompt you assuming you have notifications turned on and it will pop up with the box asking you to put in the required code or number in this case. So I'm going to key in the required number as displayed on the screen which is 40 and click yes this is me. In my case it's asking me to authenticate using my touch ID so I can do that. And now as you can see that has been successful and, and has been approved. So now all I do is click next and the default sign-in method for me with this account is Microsoft Authenticator. So I'm done. So from here on in, you'll utilize your Microsoft Authenticator or your chosen Authenticator app to securely log yourself into your Microsoft Business account. That's it guys. Hope this was helpful and very useful. And as I mentioned, I highly recommend, whether it be your Microsoft account, whether it be your Xero account, whatever it is that you utilize a subscription or a, an online tool with, if it has the option for two-factor authentication, please utilize it. The process is pretty much the same as we just went through. So take advantage of the technology that is there to keep you secure and safe. All the best.